All right, guys, so I hinted a few days ago on the community page that I had bought a new amplifier. Well, of course, you've seen what it is. I'm really excited. I haven't plugged it in or anything. Um, I've been thinking about this amplifier for a few months alongside its brother, the other sort of uh, traditional model that Mesa Boogie offer, which is the Cali Tweed. Now, I originally had a Cali Tweed on offer last, uh, sorry, on order last year. It was supposed to arrive just before Christmas, and I ended up not taking that. Um, I think because I'd ordered a combo and I really don't have space for any more combos next to what I've got already and because I started to realize that the Tone King Sky King in its lead channel probably offered me a lot of what I wanted from a, a tweed sort of amplifier and if I do go for a tweed I may well go for a Fender in future. Um, I'd like to try a Cali tweed in the shop though. This on the other hand is a really intriguing amp with two channels that do both exactly the same thing and are foot switchable but there are three sort of gain selections on uh, on each channel so you've got a clean and then you've got like a, a more gain and then you've got like a high gain channel so we're going to go through all that in a minute um, but I'll literally plug it in first time with you guys and just go through some simple tones uh, it's like a first impressions I'm really excited to try it um, I think we'll go with a strat today probably and uh, just to say I really got interested in this amp because of Jack at Peach Guitars um, he has one personally on his own channel he, he's got one at home uh, and just says it's possibly his favorite amp at the moment if not one of his favorite amps ever um, and I just really wanted a Mesa Boogie I've wanted one for years but I don't need anything too high gain uh, and you'll see in the full review video that I'll do in a few weeks after I've really played around with this um, that there's plenty of options as far as gain goes and versatility so anyway let's go and have a listen to it uh, as I said I'm really excited so uh, yeah all right, guys, so let's turn this thing on. So I can foot, sw I can foot switch between the two channels, which, as I said, are identical to each other. And here it says clean, drive, and high. I'll put some close-ups on. So I'm going to put the left-hand channel in clean. Let's just give it a reasonable amount of stuff. And then I haven't even been able to do the sound level, so I might have to go and fiddle. to play with. I've barely done anything, I've barely set it up at all and I can just tell you. This is with no reverb. Now the reverb's on the back. I will take a close-up of that but I've just got to go and turn it up. So there's a reverb on each channel as well so it's completely flexible as to when you uh, have reverb. There's also an effects loop. As I said, just got to watch out for the... These are such clean cleans. Right, just got to start pushing that gain up. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I think one of my, my mics is uh, sort of redlining, so I'm hoping it's not ruining everything. Whilst I'd love to be this, this to be a one take, I think now I should go and sort out the mics so we can be as flexible as possible and have a bit of fun. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, microphones hopefully sorted. So yeah, as I was saying, the cleans out of here. I mean, I get to, to you know play around with some great, great clean amps. The Two Rocks, for example, which are clean, but with, you know, personality. And this is... cleanest cleans ever honestly it's uh, I know it sounds silly like it isn't a clean just a clean but there's something there's something about the feel of the playing and this is a dream to play since Mesa Boogie came down in price as well about what was that eight or nine months ago so this might have been a maybe it would have cost two and a half thousand and now it's more like eighteen hundred um, suddenly it falls into that realm of, yeah, fantastic value really in that boutique amp world. Let's see how crunchy this uh, clean channel gain can get. <laughs> I'm going to introduce the second channel. So I've put this on to the high gain channel. I'm going to kick over using the foot switch. It's like, you're, you know, when you get a new amp and you're just playing it for the first time, you feel a bit mesmerized, you know, because every note you're playing, it feels like the first time you've ever played that note before. The cleans on this thing. Let me put on my Austin Pride fuzz, you know, my favorite fuzz.
I didn't actually think I'd be lost for words. Um, <clears throat> it feels like the first time I played the two rock amps, which um, that's saying something. I mean, this costs about, what, a third of those? Whew. Right, uh, I want to put this one in the medium channel. And kick over there. No pedals right now. pedals. I can't even play. I'm just, uh, yeah, really, really happy with this amp. I'm really blown away. I've heard of Mesa Boogie's quality and, um, you know, apparently they've got the best customer service and they just really care. Uh, and over the years, you know, I've seen obviously people like um, Mick Taylor from that pedal show talk a lot about his old Mesa Boogies. He always seems to have a Mesa Boogie around. Um, and I, I can tell you as someone who plays mainly with two rock amps, Tone King, Dr. Z, Sir and Fender, that this is, I'm not going to say it's the best amp I've ever played. I need to play for it more, with it more. But I'm saying it's worth more than I paid for it even though I bought it brand new. <laughs> you know, um, if this was the only amp I had, I'd probably be very happy, which I can't really say about any of the others except the two rocks, but you know. when you push the drive channel a little bit. On the master volume, I mean. Thank you. 
Again, let's put that in the high gain channel. I'm just trying to show you like the variation in, in the um, the channels. I mean, going from the cleanest clean. No pedals. Yeah, I haven't got another amp that can do that. Uh, my Dirty Shirley has been away <laughs> at the shop being modded for a long time and um, they have a completely different gain sound and a gain structure, but that's the only other amp I can think of that can really switch to that sort of almost saturated tone. I'm just blown away. I'm really, really happy to have this amp. I wonder what you guys think. Have you ever played with one of these? I know they're pretty new. Um, it's gonna be a great, pedal platform uh, in the clean channel, I can feel that, it's uh I just feel like this amp covers so much ground for so many people. Um, as you turn the gain on the clean channel up, you really start to unlock a, a sort of tweedish gain structure. to play, really addictive. Um, I can see that after I've hit the uh, stop button on recording, I'm just gonna be sitting here playing and playing. Just flicking this into that medium drive channel again. Let's just see how, how that uh, sort of goes when it's pretty much on full. <laughs> It doesn't feel like a Stratocaster sort of a sound, but I don't want to plug in other guitars because, you know, all the levels will go all over the place. When I do the full review, I think we're going to have to get three or four guitars going through this and, and see what it's really made of each channel and everything. But yeah, this is just me really unveiling first impressions. Um, just that first impression of the sound quality that's coming out of here is, you know, top notch. I mean, yes, I'm being a little bit enthusiastic, a little bit ecstatic. New amps do that, and obviously that'll get pared down. But I can tell you, it's gonna live next to my Maz 18 and my Morgan MVP 23 for sure, as a great contrast to either of those. Um, and 
I can see that this would be a perfect little gigging amp. When the world goes back to normal, maybe I can find some people to play with and go out there. And this amp, it's small, it's light, it's not crazy loud, and you can really open it up and get some great sounds out of it. And it makes me want to really try the 50 or 100 watt versions in future because uh, I can only imagine how incredible the cleans are on that, let alone how saturated you could get those gain tones, which, you know, I'm not normally into that saturation thing, but I can just feel it on here. It's going to be a lot of fun, you know. <laughs> As you should do when you've got a new amp out. Uh, I think I mentioned it in the last video about all the fuzz. I am going to go away for a couple of days and do some more learning. I'm on. I feel like I'm on one of those plateaus. I just keep playing the same stuff, which is fine. You know, I think everyone at every stage. You know, I'd, I'd say I'm an early intermediate level now. You know, my fingers feel pretty comfortable. I'm happy playing, but everyone reaches a plateau and everyone needs to go and refresh, listen to a load of music, come up with some fresh ideas, learn some new licks, whatever it is. So today's Sunday, I think, when you're seeing this. I should be back with my normal Thursday video, but if I'm not, you know why, and it's because I'll be back next Sunday. Um, but I'm finding I'm getting addicted to posting on YouTube. It's a lot of fun seeing all the comments. It's a lot of fun interacting with everyone. Congratulations to Stratcat Blues again for winning the last um, prize, and that's going to be on its way to him soon. Um, and just to say, I will be deciding on the 2,500 sub giveaway very, very soon now in the next video, probably if not the one after that. Uh, I'm sort of still taking in the comments I've had about which pedal it could be and sort of deciding what I want it to be. But anyway, uh, if you want to be involved in that giveaway and win a great boutique drive pedal, just subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, make sure your subscriptions are public, you're publicly subscribed, otherwise I can't sort of see that and then I can't put you in the prize draw. Um, yeah, and if you want to know if I can see your subscription, just ask me in the comments, I'll let you know. Uh, but anyway, have a good day, and I'm going to go and enjoy this amp for a little bit longer before I go and edit this video. Cheers.